How do you approach the rest of the Eastern Conference Finals? Well, what you do is you just uh, you, you just destroy them as quickly as you possibly can. What you want to do is you want to come out with everything blazing and you want to take them out as quickly as you possibly can. That way, even during the game, LeBron James is sitting on the bench getting his requisite rest. I remember when they were up 41 at halftime in game in game two. Um, it was surprising to me that Tyron Lue still had LeBron James and those boys out there to begin the second half because my attitude was what was the sense in all of that. But nevertheless, again, with the level of dominance that they've been exhibiting, you might want to get some chemistry going, get some reps in, those kind of things, and that would be the only explanation to explain such a thing. But once you do that, uh, you put them on the bench and you give them as much rest uh, as they possibly can. You, get, you take advantage of this because you're going to need – every bit of energy you can muster in order to knock off the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. That should be the approach, to come out with a seek and destroy mindset, to really come out of the block and take the Boston Celtics out as early as possible. Absolutely no mercy whatsoever. And it should not be that difficult to do since they don't have Isaiah Thomas, because without Isaiah Thomas, they have a very, very difficult time shooting the basketball.